Uh, you are in the Duck and Cover Tavern in oh. the village of Groblet. Excellent. Okay. The Duck and Cover Tavern. I yep. Okay. So you can see lots of oak tables. Uh, you can hear the fire crackling away and you can yep. smell the smoke from it. Um, behind the bar is a sort of a, a greasy looking individual, we'll say. And sat at one of the tables is uh, a guy who's dressed in quite fine clothing. Greasy looking individual, male or female? Uh, both males, both human. Go rob the rich looking one. Yeah, would you like to um, introduce your characters? I think go rob the rich looking one. Oh my gosh, rich bloke at the table. Right, so I have failed to give myself a name. Oh, I am an elf wizard. An elf wizard, okay. Cool. And did you say male or female? Um, let's go with male. Sometimes. And I'll call it Charles after my other DD character. Charles. Charles, oh. okay. Right, so you've got an elf wizard called Charles. Um, all right. Any background to your elf wizard character? You know, raised in the forest and had an aptitude for magic. I put this together. Ah, an aptitude for magic. Fantastic. Yeah. Lovely. And okay. So was planning to be um a, like a sort of a fighter, but when it was discovered that he had an aptitude for magic, he sort of switched. So he has a fair amount of shooting skill as well because he was originally going to be part of the elf. Awesome. Okay, lovely, like it. Um, fantastic, cool. Okay, so I am a hobbit. Yes. Uh, my name is Hagen Lightfoot. Hagen Lightfoot, like it. Obviously, because I am a thief. I didn't start out a thief. Thievery came to me later on in life because no hobbits start out as thieves. Absolutely not, no. Because we're hobbits. Um, I have been on a quest with a wizard friend of mine mm -hmm. so i'm braver than the average hobbit yeah but still quite like it at home but so came, you... came into my skills okay when I was on my quest fantastic okay that's cool um so this wizard friend was it said wizard that you are sat with or have you just met this wizard for the first time my wizard friend. Yes. That's your wizard friend, of course, of course, of course. Okay, so um, that's great. Thank you very much, guys. So it's up to you guys. What would you like to do? Um, need to I need to go rob the rich guy. Okay, all right. I don't want to have started with any money. <gasps> We've got no money? No. I'm a burglar. I must have some money somewhere. It didn't say in the rules that we started with money. Oh, Never. but it also says in the rules, if there isn't a rule for it, make it up as you go along. So can we at can least... Can we have some money? Can we have some loose change so that we can look like we're taking part in the tavern and buy a beer? I, I think I could give you some money to start you off. At least enough for a, a bit of food and some beer. We need. Possibly a roof over our head for the evening in the tavern. You may do, you may do, yeah. Um, Oh, of course, you are lucky that it is currently summertime in Ragavan, the, well, the world that you are living in. So, if it came to it, you could sleep We're outside. Odd. We're odd. You're Help. odd. You've been on adventures before, you know your way around. Um, so, yeah, I will give you a ducat each. Uh, just to give you a rough idea, a ducket is kind of enough for bed and board for the night. Excellent. I don't know how you spell ducket. I've done D-U-C-E-T. It doesn't really matter. But, yeah, D-U-C-A-T is fine. Right. Okay, I'm going to go rob the rich bloke. Okay. Don't, don't rob him. Oh, hang on. Pickpocket him stealthily. That's the same thing. No, it's not. I'm not cocking him. We're not here to confront anyone. No, but robbing him and pickpocketing him are the same thing. Okay. I'm a thief. 
Okay, go and pick what it is. Give me my dice then. I have to have my dice. I well, we don't. Do I have to have my dice? Well, gonna... explain how you're going to go about this, and we'll see whether you need to roll any dice at all. Oh, okay. I've got no charm or charisma. You're going to casually just walk past him. I'm going to walk past him and I'm going to pickpocket him. And you're going to pretend to like fall over. Hang on, there's pretend. nobody else. No, but there's nobody else in the tavern. So right. he's going to immediately know me or you have got to pickpocket him. And he's going to know it's me because he's going to know, isn't he? He's going to know, isn't he? It's good that you're thinking about these things. I would say that would make it considerably harder to pickpocket somebody. It would be because, oh, okay, so we go talk to the barman, mm -hmm. who already looks a little bit greasy, which makes you think he's probably on the table, a bit like the barman from Les Mis. Yeah, yeah, he is so a bit greasy. Well, so he's Canardier, and we're going to go up to him and go, see the rich geezer, has he got a room here? And Tenardier is going to say, yeah, he's got a room. And I go, well, what? I'm a thief. You don't know that yet. That's up to last. That's up to last. Hopefully, <laughs> this is the way it's going to go. This is the ideal plan. This is the ideal plan. And Tenardier is going to go, yeah, yeah, he's got a room. And I'm so going to just before we, we go and say hello to the greasy fellow behind the bar, um, Hagen, is Hagen a, a dude or a dudette? She's a girl. Girl, okay. But I'm um, a hobbit, and to be honest, female hobbits aren't attractive to the human male species. So much. I don't know, Rose is pretty hot. Yeah, good point. Yeah. Um, anyway, so, go on then, go and say hello to, to fella behind the bar. Okay. I'm going to go, I'm going to check with him a bit. Do I have to throw a dice now? Not yet. Wait, okay. <laughs> Um, I'm going to check with him a little bit. I'm going to find out how many other people are in the inn. Okay. How many other people are staying? Right. Okay. So I'm going to try and channel my best Ray Winston here. Okay. Uh, evening, Governor. Governor. Uh, we're, we're pretty quiet at the moment, to be fair. Um, how quiet is quiet? It's pretty dead, really to be honest. Pretty dead. Pretty dead. Yeah, quiet. It's been a lot of trouble on the King's Road, isn't there? Has there? Has there? We've oh. heard nothing. We've just come from Hobbiton. Ah, right. Which way did you come then? Did you come from the east or the west? From the west over the Brandywine. Ah, right, right, right. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you're lucky then, to be fair, because, you know, you kind of crossed uh, the bridge and... Um, you must have seen all those wagons kind of tipped over on the side. Yeah, we did. We did. Oh, they know. And you didn't wonder what they was. We were a bit. We were busy. We like to keep ourselves to ourselves, Governor. You didn't see the black arrow sticking out of them then. No, we keep ourselves to ourselves. Uh, well, we, we have quite a few problems with goblins, so. You don't often see that many people here. It's mainly the locals, but they do come in in the evening. My friend is an elf or wizard, and he might be able to help you out with it if you have any goblin trouble. Ah, well, you're best probably talking to the squire if you want uh, to help out in that way. Oh, who's the squire? Where do we find him? So he's called Squire Trevific. Trevific? Um, Truvithic. Yeah, Cornish. Yeah, big fella. You know, got a bit of a belly on him. Yeah, uh, lovely. Yeah, and you will find him if you come out of the Duck and Cover, my lovely pub, and you turn yourselves left and follow the King's Road, you will find him down that way. So, okay, 10 idea. <laughs> <laughs> how come the chap at the table over in the corner on his own looks not only quite wealthy but also totally unmolested how did he get here 
Well, he tends to be uh, unmolested because he's our local merchant. Oh, but yeah. surely that makes no difference to any goblins that might be around. Not to goblins, no, but he doesn't stray too far from the village. So he's got the squire's protection for a start. Plus, uh, having a bit of cash, you know, he can kind of afford to get a few heavies to look after him. Okay. What's our merchant's name? Uh, that would be Willet. Willet. Yeah. I didn't introduce myself, did I? I'm Corbin. Nice to meet you, Corbin. You too, you too. It's nice to have a few different faces in the place. Not everyone is happy to see people like, an unusual combination of people like an elf and a hobbit wandering around. And we tend to attract attention, not always of the good kind. Oh, that's a shame. Sad to hear. We've got a hobbit farm out east, to be fair. So, you know, we get the old elf around as well. Excellent. Right. Are we going to rob this rich bloke or are we going to go speed you through this? We're not going to rob the rich bloke. He's got heavies, did you not hear? He has got heavies. And we can't fight. Both of us are crap at fighting. However, I can teleport. You can teleport. Can you teleport me? I don't know. Can I teleport you? Well, you've not done so far. When we were fighting that dragon, I had to do it all by myself. Yeah, it's a new thing. I'm working <laughs> on it. You could try, you could try. Can I, can I teleport you? It just says teleport on the rules. If you didn't, if you can be like Oh, I'm so sorry. Put me in the middle. It teleports. Okay, it says wizard disappears and reappears. So I probably can't teleport, can't teleport me. All right, we're not going to rob any bloke that's right. got a load of heavies behind him. So what do you want to do now? There's nobody else around. Does it start getting busier in here normally in the evenings? Because it's yeah. quite at the moment. Yeah, it's always quiet around lunchtime. You know, they work in the fields and that. And uh, the squire's got a few people that kind of help to protect the village from the goblins. You might find a few on the green. Uh, Ms. Fargo, don't call her Miss or Mrs. She hates that. Uh, Ms. Fargo, she runs the local blacksmiths. You could maybe pop over there. Oh, and there's, there's uh, Max as well. Max in the tower. Yeah. Which tower? The church tower? No, no. Wizard's tower, isn't it? Oh. Would that be the large black thing that we can see over on the edge of the village? Yeah, a bit crooked like, isn't it? Sort of looks like it's falling apart. Yeah. So who's Max? Is Max the wizard? He is local wizard, yeah. Bit of an inventor too. Nice. Oh, wizard and inventor. Don't tell him I asked this, Corbin, my good friend. Yeah. Is he any good? Well, he's all right, you know, he's, he, he does. They can be a bit hit and miss, these wizards. Yeah, yeah, some of them just calls themselves wizards, isn't it? Yeah. And a wizard and an inventor. A pointy hat does not make a wizard. A pointy hat does not a wizard make. Very true, very true. It's just a hat. <laughs> All right. What we need to do is we need to defeat the goblins and we need to extract money from this rich bloke. Well, we oh, probably will. To be fair, the squire will give us money if we defeat the goblins. Will he? Yeah, of course he will. Well, is there any kind of bounty out? It's absolutely, a... yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> There's kind of two ways you can make money on a goblin here. You can either kill the little so-and-so and get your reward from the squire, or you can bring it back to the local Thwacket Club. They'll pay good money for goblins too. Thwacket Club. 
you should have a chat with the guys on the green about that one. Yeah. Oh, and uh, will it over there? Yeah. He will buy stuff if you find anything good. He will buy stuff. Yeah. Because he's a merchant. Yeah. What kind of what kind of wares is a merchant Willet keen on? Well, anything he can't get easily, really. You know, bit of weaponry, especially if he can get it as a knockoff price. You know, because Miss Fargo she charges a fair penny. But you know, if you were to bring a cutlass back or something, he might be interested. I think we should have a spot of lunch, landlord, and then I think we'll hop on out. I don't think we can afford lunch, mate. Can we not afford lunch? No. Because you refuse to rob the rich dudes. You don't rob rich dudes that have got heavies when you can't fight. I can tell Paul I do you are supposed to be sneaky. Okay, let's go talk to Travisic. Or should we go to our blacksmith and see what she's got to say, woman to woman? Woman to hobbit. <laughs> You're a hobbit first. Yeah, of course. Thanks, Corby, my new friend. No worries, no worries. BC, oh, before you go, before you go, and die. Uh, Keep your voice down a little bit, but um, right. I have got a bit of a past, like so. Uh, if you need any training in uh, making things easier to acquire, on your man, all right. Making things easier to acquire, I'm not bad at acquiring things. No, like that. Good to know. Yeah, I can put you in touch with porters too, you know, if you need anything carried. Oh, lovely. Nothing at the minute. We're travelling like for now. Fair but enough. I, Fair think, enough. I think we'll be back at your end later. I shall look forward um, to seeing you. Not to worry, mum's the word. Cool. Think of it as your second home. Lovely. There, and we were told when we first set out, look out for the humans, they're not very friendly. Uh, some of us is all right, you know, same as anything, isn't it? Good and bad in all worlds. True story. Right, we're popping on out. We'll see you later. Ladies. Bye, landlord. All right. Where do you want to go? Where do you want to go? Well, we could go and see our friend at the blacksmith. We don't have any money doesn't matter unless she's terribly busy in which case she won't want to chat but the wizard might want to chat more and we might be able to get more information out of the wizard mm. do we need any more information i well, we don't know what we're going to do yet there's goblins we kill the goblins we get money we kill the goblins we get money yes but we can also find stuff we might be able to find he's an inventor we might be able to find all sorts of stuff we might be able to find stuff that we take off the goblins. But neither of us can fight. I'm a wizard! And I'm a thief, so we can nick stuff off the goblins. There's an idea. Is it going to be easier to nick stuff off the goblins than nick stuff off the rich bloke with the heavies? Yeah, because I'm stealthy. Yeah, all right, let's go fight the goblins. We're not going to fight the goblins, those of us can fight. Plus, I I've can just shoot out. though, I can snipe the goblins. I've just worked out, I've done my maths wrong. Um, but never mind, and I can do a slingshot for 50 feet. Right, so we can snipe the goblins. If we can pick a goblin off that's on its own. I Just before we go, our new friend Corbin. Oh yeah. It's daytime at the minute. Do we tend to find the goblins out during the day? Because in our neck of the woods, they tend to come out at night. Uh, you can find them by day, yeah. Uh, but generally, they're kind of, um, they like to be around in the dark. Usually, they'll sort of uh, find themselves a nice little cave somewhere that they can um, 
camp up in. Brilliant. Find a cave. Set it on fire. <laughs> Just set it on fire. I love it. You can do thing. that. Yeah, probably. Let's go and talk to the wizard. All right. I want to talk to the wizard. Shall we? All right then. We'll go see the wizard. Let me see what he's got that I haven't. Right, Corbin. We'll be back later. Good to get to know you. You too. See you later. Going, going. So you're going out the door? Okay, so as you leave, you, you notice it is bright sunshine outside. Uh, yep. Lovely spring day, really. You can hear birds twittering away. Um, you can also hear clanging metal. And as you look across the street, you can see there is a blacksmith in front of you. Um, as you look to the left of the blacksmiths you know it's a large area of green and there's a guy wandering around on there a bit further down from that um, you can see a building a thatched building uh, that has a sign hanging outside of it um, it looks like a post horn on the sign a post a post horn, you know, like one of those curly. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, as you look left on your side of the road, uh, it's like a dusty kind of road in front of you. Um, you see a churchyard and a fairly kind of run down church. Just beyond that, poking above the church, you will see um, a crooked tower which looks in real disrepair. And then beyond that, there it seems to be quite a large, quite ornate building. That would be the spires though. Shall we? What do you think? Right, so do you want to go see the blacksmith and see what she says? I just don't. Everybody guess. comes past the blacksmith, and she may well be a mine of information. The blacksmith in the olden days is like the hub of the village. Everybody uses the blacksmith. Shoeing horses, pots and pans. I thought you want. Yeah, all right. Or do you want to go to the wizard? Oh, I don't think he's going to be a very good wizard if he can't even keep his own house in order. Or maybe, you know, just doesn't care too much about it. Yeah. He's maybe he's more interested in his sorcery. Who knows? Or in his inventions. Mm-hmm. All right. What do you think? Right, Okay. See you later, landlord. Laters. You're off to the blacksmith. Um, okay, so as you approach, you can see uh, that there is a pretty muscular woman um, basically shaping iron. Uh, what do you want to do? Let's go say hi. Let's go say hi. Let's go say hi and see if she has any time to talk to us. So you're saying hi. Okay. We are. We're going to go Say hello. Here we go. We're going to pass the time of day for a minute or two. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Ms. Fargo, I'm told. Ah, I see. You are clever, clever. You have obviously done your research. Not really. Shut up. The yes, landlord of the pub told us. We have. We're really smart. He's a wise man, wise man. I do not like being called Miss or Mrs. on account of not being married. As a fellow female, mm. I am completely on board with that. Glad to hear it. It's far too many of these young girls just want to get themselves hitched straight away. Oh no, like there isn't more to life. As you can see, me, myself as a female hobbit, 
of age 65. So no longer a youngster, and yes, I'm just in my prime. Indeed. Unmarried, unmarried and out with my adventurous friend here. Hello. Very Charles. nice to meet you. Charles. Uh, the other unusual name, the Elven Wizard. Very nice to meet you, Charles. Nice to meet you. Okay, you're an elf. Charm her. What do you think? Pretend you're Orlando Bloom. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, I'm Orlando Bloom. Let me just flip my hair. Um, <laughs> all right. So I've got. What do I need? Persuasion. Oh, oh, I've only got a four. That's probably not the best plan. I've got less than a four. What are you trying to get out of Miss Fargo? I don't know. She doesn't say a lot, does she? Do you have any information for us about goblins? Liz? Goblins? Uh, yes, uh, the squire can help you there. Or the local Thwacket Club. They like to uh, keep a fresh supply of goblins. The Thwack, I imagine. Fresh. Indeed, yes. I think it's quite barbaric, but... Uh, they like it, oh, idiots. Yeah, indeed. Miss Fargo, you sound like a very singular woman with a mind of her own. Yes, well, that's being uh, brought up in the military, don't you know? Oh, mm. is that where you learned your blacksmithing skills? Yes, yes, on the road, indeed, yeah. Uh, I was the first person to uh, fix anything that needed fixing. Excellent. And how was it that you were brought up in the military? It's a very unusual occupation for a woman to have. Not around here, no. It's far too dangerous. Everybody has to be able to fight. I suppose so. Mm -hmm. So, she can fix stuff. We don't have anything that's broken yet. We don't have anything that's broken yet. I can fix stuff. I can sell you stuff. Well, we also don't have any money. No, we don't have any money. We need to get some money. I keep telling you, goblins, squire, money, other stuff. Okay. So, as a fighting woman, who clearly doesn't agree with what sounds like the barbarism of the Thwackage Club, I'm going to come out and say it. How do you feel about all these goblins? Have you had any run-ins with them? They can be a pest and they do stop some of the supplies getting down the King's Road, but is it any different to what we do? I don't see the point in killing for killing's sake. That's valid. That is totally valid. How you can derive pleasure from Hitting a goblin over a fence, I have no idea. And then where do they go when they're over the fence? Do so these men manage to hit goblins over fences? They do. do. Or are goblins quite weak around here? They are when they've been beaten up a little bit, yes. Mm. In numbers, they can be quite dangerous. As can even the humble hobbit. Yes. Okay. Okay. Where are we going? Gonna kill some goblins. I reckon, while it's still daytime, we need to go and pick them off one by one using my sniping skills. Uh, as oh. I said, uh, the squire can help you there. I think we'll go and talk to the squire. Should we go and talk to the squire? Let's see what we can do and see if we can do something to alleviate the goblin problem. Thank you very much, Miss Fargo. It's been an honour and a pleasure. Yes, likewise. Nice to meet you. You too. We'll see you soon, I'm sure. I'm sure you will. Now, if you don't mind, I do need to get back to this sword. Absolutely. Do carry on. Right, so you're heading off down the street? 
We are heading yep. off Dem Street. Okay. Where would you like to go? Um, you notice from Ms. Fargo's Forge, there is the area of green with the guy wandering around on it. Uh, across the way there is a church or a chapel. Uh, then you can see the wizard's tower beyond that. And then there is this building beyond that, the ornate one. Oh, and also the thatch building on the right with the hanging sign of the post hall. With the horn. <coughs> Mm -hmm. Let's go talk to the squire. We're going to talk to the squire. Look, is he in the fancy building? You're going to the fancy building? We are going to go to the fancy building, assuming that the squire's in there. Okay, yeah, so you're heading off towards that. Um, as you approach the building, uh, you can see that there is a fairly young girl in rusty armour stood outside. She appears to be barring the door. It's like the posh building. A young girl. Hello, young lady. Right. Why can, I, can I be helping you? Could we just need to talk to the squire about the goblin problem. He's expecting us. Nice. Oh, great, great, yeah. Okay. Um, well, right, I'll just go and let him know then, shall I? Um, yeah, you just send this last Then we'll, we can find a way here, there. We've been here before. We've been here before. Oh, uh, okay, okay. Yeah, I haven't seen you about, but um, yeah, yeah, no worries. Um, in you go then. Thank you very, Thank much. very much. That's a pleasure. And we're in. And you're in. So, as you get inside the building, um, you notice that there's uh, kind of like a, a fairly kind of ornate carpet on the floor. Um, again, you can smell wood smoke from a fire. Uh, and you can see um, a gentleman with a kind of like moustache, sort of like curling up at the sides. Um, he's, again, he's wearing very bright, shiny armour. Uh, looks like he's been spending some time polishing it uh, and he is sat at a table and uh, as you come in he says hello, hello hello how can i help you hello um we found out that you had a goblin problem that we were interested in giving you a hand with you do ah fantastic i'd go deal with it myself but you know i have to keep an eye on the village um that would be yeah. amazing. Yeah. Well, the uh, last time goblins were heard of uh, was down the King's Road. So out of here, if you turn right and you head out on the King's Road, um, you will eventually arrive at a wagon. And you will notice that there are some arrows sticking out of it. Uh, and unfortunately, the merchant that was coming in on that wagon is missing. Oh. Oh. I can offer you a reward for goblins once uh, what is dealt with. How much? How much? Yes, it always comes to money, doesn't it? Um, right, per goblin, you can expect to be paid six ducats. Get her alive. Oh, dead. I have no need to have them alive. They're a pain. Six ducats per goblin. Plus anything you find on the little blighter. We get to keep. Absolutely. How would I know you'd taken it? So, this merchant who's gone missing, how long have they been missing? He was meant to bring his delivery into Miss Fargo on Friday last, so that would be two days. Mm. Missing merchant for two days. What was he bringing? He was bringing ore. Mm. So the goblins, may well, who we know are skilled craftsmen. Do we? Yeah. Right. They can well, make weapons. Fairly crude, but yes, they can make things. 
have had their hands on some lovely ore for the past two days. Has anyone been sent out to look for this merchant? No, I can't spare anybody at the moment. Well, we'll have a look for you. That would be amazing. Can I ask why you can't spare anyone? Well, we are surrounded by, well, not surrounded, but we do have swamp to the west, and it does house a considerable number of goblins. Mm. I have to protect our farmsteads and the chapel. Yeah. Fair enough, Squire. I'd not like to be making those kind of decisions. No. Well, good job, we're here. We're going to go find your merchant, kill some goblins, get some money. Get I shall money. very much look forward to seeing you back. Right, keep talking to him. I'm going to look around the vestibule. All right. Is there anything you can tell us about the goblins in terms of numbers? It's very hard to tell. Uh, they are quite um, numerous at times, All right. but you may be lucky and find them in smaller numbers. Do they turn Oh no, I'm still looking around to see what I can steal. Lars, let me know if there's anything I can nick on the way out because I'm having a quiet Okay, look. so as you, as you have a look around, you can see that it is pretty much, apart from the carpet, it is a working kind of center it's quite ornate from the outside that's apparent but not that really. kind of tells you more about the squire than anything else uh despite what he says he does seem to have quite a lot of time to polish armor and keep the building in good nick or have the building kept in good nick for him yeah but inside it is pretty much like barrack like there are you know there are there are a few bits and pieces there are kind of rations and things that you might be able to take but any weaponry is on the people no no we're happy if i can if i can find it the odd ration to me no no we've got no food you can get some food we've got one a ducket a piece yeah we can get some food right where are we going to go next um, what do you want to do hey can you go in out yeah safe Right, say thank you to the nice squire. Thank you very much, Mr. Squire. We'll That's a pleasure. For you. So you're heading out the building? We yeah. are indeed. Okay. Um, the ornate carpet, which I can't need. Yeah, sorry about that. You know, it's kind of difficult with the squire stood on it. You know what? They're difficult to offload. It'd be quite funny though, wouldn't it? <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so you're coming out of the building and you can see that the dusty road heads off to your left uh, and it also heads back towards the right the direction you've just come from past all the buildings uh, the squire's building is the last building on the way out um what do you want to do do you want to head down this road where did you say the goblins were in the swamp in the swamp hmm You don't get caught in the swamp. I can teleport. Good for you! <laughs> <laughs> and I am lucky and little and larcenous. You are indeed. Good for you. Right. We're going to have to be a sneaky team. Let's go have a scout for somewhere where I can snipe, right? Because my spells are fireball, which is a long distance weapon. Enchant weapon, so I'll probably be enchanting my longbow, which nice. is a long distance weapon, and teleport. Okay, so you, you're sneaky, so, sneaky, are you? Yeah, what, we want to scout for places where we can lie and wait to pick off some goblins. Ah, okay, all right. So as you leave the road, you're walking for approximately a mile. And ahead of you, you can see an old stone bridge. Um, there is a kind of muddy brown river flowing underneath it. Can I just say, I'm going to love it if there's a troll under there. 
<laughs> I'm going to be so happy. <laughs> what would you like to do? Right, we see the bridge. See the bridge. We get across the bridge. Yeah, there's nowhere else to go. No. Let's cross the bridge. Crossing the bridge. Okay. Um, nothing happens. You cross the bridge safely, no problems. And then half a mile beyond that, yeah. you come to a wagon, broken wagon at the side of the road. With the arrow sticking out of it. Black arrow sticking out of it, yeah. And uh, unfortunately a dead horse. Oh, oh, sad. But also food. Mm. We don't want desperate yet, mate. I'm okay. a hobbit. I'm always thinking about food. Absolutely, but surely some mushrooms are more appetising than a two-day old dead horse. Uh, have you not heard about leaving the meat to hang? Ah, uh, yeah, true. <laughs> anyway, right, we we're gonna have a little peek around the wagon for clues. We are gonna have a look around the wagon for clues. Okay, Everything right. Two. Are you both looking for clues here? Oh, that sounds dodgy. Mm. Which one of us has the best perception? I'll look for clues. I've got five. Five perception. I have seven, which isn't so pretty bad. Okay, so... Nasty yeah. and agile. You can both look for clues here. Uh, so... Yeah, but we should also both get caught in a booby trap. You could both get caught in a booby Why trap. Would they why would they have put a booby trap out? They've got the merchant in the way. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to ask you to make your first skill check. Um, you need to roll a dice uh, and roll underneath your perception. Oh man, my perception's poopy pants. All right, I'll go first. It is, hopefully it'll get better. Okay, give me the dust, give me the dust. We're not going to find you the clues. Uh, my perception is five. Can I have it? Can I, Lars? Can I? What, what was your... Five, and I've rolled five. Yeah, absolutely. Woo! Yeah, absolutely. So... Uh, <laughs> find the clue! Congrats. As you look around, you can see that there are fairly small footprints leading off through the marsh. Look, hobbit size footprints. Hobbit there or thereabouts, yeah, about the same size. Uh, you can also see that there appears to be kind of drag footprints. Are they got claws? Drag marks as well. No, it looks. It looks like kind of footwear you know we're not talking about high heels here okay. think Hobbit. kind of like fur and stuff strapped around legs okay. uh, there are drag marks as well and you notice that some of the footprints appear to be pressing into the marsh further than others those will be the ones that are carrying the merchant and the small footprints yeah, goblins are pretty small. No, goblins are big. Are goblins got big feet, Lars, or small ones? Uh, your experience of goblins are that they're fairly small creatures. There you go. Goblins are the little ones. Orcs are the big Orcs ones. Orcs are the big ones. Yeah, yeah. And drag marks. All right. So the goblins have stolen this merchant that did in the Are they? Have they stolen? Well, you know what is heavy. Or. Oh. Right. They've taken the ore. That's what's and heavy. The they could well yeah, have done. The merchant won't be as heavy as the ore. That's going to be really heavy if they're carrying a load of iron ore, though. All right, either way, they've nicked on this and picked me in that direction. Okay, so we're having a good look round. Can we see anything else? Uh, yeah, you notice that the footprints seem to be going backwards and forwards. So, they're going away with stuff coming back and back with stuff that tells me that there aren't that many of them because if they've got to carry a load of heavy stuff 
there aren't many of them to carry it, so they've had to keep coming backwards and forwards. Uh, the footprints lead quite a way into the marsh, but you can see that there appears to be a hillside some way off. Right, I think we go up the hill. Going up the hill? Yeah. Fo the following hill. the footprints? Yeah. But really stealthily. Stealthily, okay. Um, all right, so you squelch your way through the marsh. Um, we, we glide our way through the marsh stealthily. You glide your way stealthily through the squelchy marsh. <laughs> squelch, squelch, squelch. Yeah, really quite stealthy. It's like that. What's that book? Swishy, 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 swishy. We're going on a goblin hunt. You're going on a goblin hunt. Yeah, absolutely. Um, okay, so as you stealthily approach, you notice that within the hillside, there appears to be a dark opening. Um, again, you can smell smoke. And you notice as well that there doesn't appear to be any bird song. It's because I've eaten them. <laughs> what do you want to do? Send you in. Send me in, being all yeah. stealthy. Yeah. Go have a scout. Can, yeah, I do, this is what I do. I am a thief and a burglar. Can I sneak up? You can sneak up. Yeah, can absolutely. Can I sneak up to the outside and see what's happening? So, or I climb up the side of the hill mm -hmm. and see what's happening by looking down. So, you're going to climb around the hill and look down. Okay, yeah. Because That's my cool. climbing is 11. All right. My agility is 11. Okay, so you make your way up through the bushes around the... In case yeah. you have to run away and someone follows you out. Okay. So you've, you've readied your bow, okay? Yeah. Um, and you're climbing your way up and around. Okay, cool. So... Very, 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 very fair. I'm hunting a wabbit. Um, <laughs> so... As you make your way up through the bushes, you successfully get yourself up to the top of the cave and you kind of like peer your way over. And I would like you to make a stealth roll, please. Stealth roll. Oh, oh gosh. Hey. Yes. You're I rolling well tonight. Rolling I knew well I was stealthy. Okay, so <laughs> it's pretty dark, but you can just make out two fairly small figures huddled around a fire. Uh, you can see stacked around them some iron ore, but there is no sign of the merchant. And that, ladies, is where we'll leave it tonight.